Bracket they hawa, bracket they hawa shy, bracket they hawa, bracket they hawa shy, bracket they hawa, bracket they hawa shy. Call halal lie, yahawa bashim yahawa shy. That's Hebrew. Interpret, bless yahawa, bless yahawa shy. All praises to yahawa bashim yahawa shy. Double honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be a, uh, a quick lesson. Um, I was watching. Uh, uh, Elder Pasu a rum lob, sh live stream, which I believe is probably still going on now. And, um, you know, he's getting on you Edomites, man. And, 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 you know, you Edomites, you swear up and down, you know, uh, that you're not Edom. And who I'm talking about is the so-called white man. You know, I'm not even going to call you Europeans because you're not the original Europeans, even though you known as being the Europeans today, you know, Esau is a liar, man. OK, you know, like I said before, you know, I I, I can't get this out of my head. I, I really believe even in the kingdom when the Lord return and, and, and the truth is fully revealed and we're living in the kingdom. Yahweh Shai delivered his elect. We got you heathens in slavery. I know for a fact, <laughs> you know, at least I believe, you know, that you Edomites are still you so-called white people. You're still going to say that you're not Esau. Even in the kingdom, even when you're in slaves, even when you're in chains, you're going to say, I'm not Edom. <laughs> because Esau will never stop lying, man. You will never stop lying. You rule this world in deception. All right. You rule this world in your democracy, man. Okay. Which is really a, a, a demon room, a, a demon uh, rule, you know, ruling over the people in, in wickedness, you know. We're, li we're really living in a colonial uh, Roman, well, Greek Roman society. All right. A refurbished Greek and Roman society. You know, you pass laws for uh, homosexuality and that's the practice of Edomites. That's the practice of which you held as your tradition back in Greek. I mean, back in Greece, you know, being the Greeks and being the Romans. And now you push this upon everyone and you made it a norm you know you know this this homosexual behavior that is totally wicked man and now you're attacking our children they're putting it in schools now mandatory for children to to learn that practice that, that that's the, the lord has to come you 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 have to be the edomites all right what other nation on this earth fits the descriptions of esau edom okay first off just get into the Hebrew. Esau means a Shashawan. Okay? Meaning what? Wasted away is he. What other nation on earth, okay, has no pigment? You know, when it comes to their skin. You know, every other nation, I'm gonna say even the Chinese and Japanese, they they lot they, they kind of pale. But what it is, when you look at them, you still see some sort of tint on their skin. Okay? You know, when you look at certain northern uh, northern tribes, you know, uh, uh, like the Hispanics, you know, you look at their skin, they have that sort of tint of melanin. But when you look at Esau, there is no tint for melanin. You know, you're the only creatures on this earth that look like that. All right. And you fit the description. That's straight up, straight up and down. You are the, the, the uh, border of wickedness. You can't tell me that this... This like this world today and the education in which you preach, all right, is not wicked. All right, look look at the conditions that Jacob in. Just look at society and how is how how it is, man. You know, look how matter of fact, look how uh, this place was 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 built, what you call North America, this this so called great city, okay, this God fearing city, right? You raped, robbed, and pillaged. Okay, murdered for this land. You slaved the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Seminole Indians, okay, on this land to build what you have now here in 2019. And it's so sad that Jake, you even destroyed them spiritually because they can't even, uh, uh, they can't even, um, I wouldn't say remember, 
but they don't even take it in consideration of what happened to them as a people. You know, Jake is so much uh, uh, in compassion of want to be accepted. You know, they have all this compassion because they hope to be accepted by you Edomites still to this day in 2019. And they will not come back into their inheritance. That's why the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, have numbered two thirds to the sword, man. You Edomites, okay, you so-called white people are the Edomites that the Bible speaks of, man. All right? No getting around it. You are the son of perdition, the master of the disaster, okay? Um, scriptures say the dragon, okay, the devil, because devil means deceiver, diablos, okay? <laughs> means deceiver, uh, the beast, you know? Come on, man. This is Daniel chapter 7 and 18. It says, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. All right. So first off, you need to understand that the word saint means Israelite. You know, this new speech, this is the devil for you. This new speech today, they have changed the meaning of words. You know, today, they, everyone believes that the word saint means uh, uh, a person of uh, that, that, that does well for others. You know, a person that uh, will go out his way or her way to help. And then that, you know, and then, you know, in reference, someone would say, well, you, you are a saint. You know, thank you. Well, the word saint in the scriptures means Israelite, man. OK, the Israelites are saints. And yeah. Even these niggas and these hoes out here that are so-called Negroes and Hispanics. All right. The worst ones of them. Guess what? They are saints. And uh, just to prove that, I just want to grab a few precepts here about the word saint. Right. Now, this is Psalms chapter eight, uh, Psalms 89 and 7. It says, Yahweh is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints. All right. Who? The Israelites. Who? Why? 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 Because. He gave them the law, statutes, and commandments. He gave us his ways, okay? He gave us the blueprint, the guide. It says, Yahweh is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints. And this is why, on a nutsh in a nutshell, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians, all right? All of the, the Israelites have some form of spiritual this about fearing God all of us now you you can say today there's a lot of the Israelites that's moving in a, a different direction because they don't even consider any God anymore because wickedness have increased but on a nutshell all of the tribes have some form of spirituality that fears the Lord you know they just don't have the truth so whatever it is that they worship they fear whatever it is and they'll they they will manner themselves in that condition you know, but pay homage to what it is that they believe. Now, Esau, you don't believe in God. Okay, you can't, you don't even believe in a God. What you believe in is tangible evidence and what you call science. All right, but real science, all right, is is, is the knowledge of the word. The science comes from the Bible. If you don't have the, the science of the Bible, you I mean, your science is, is ass. <laughs> Your, your, your science is 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 is, is not is, it won't stand okay against the Lord's science, which science just means knowledge, man. All right, and that just shows you more characteristics of Esau, showing you that what he's not spiritual, man. All right, now someone may argue that because you would say Esau is spiritual. Well, in the way he is, but he's spiritual far as on the left side, meaning worshiping Satan. You know, you are very cunning. Yo, that's another characteristic. Very a cunning hunter. All right. Uh, uh, skillful, crafty. That's that's that is Esau, man. Esau created something what he called auto abkeo. Problem, reaction, solution. He start the problem. This is a devil for you. A me. This this is the chul. All right, a chul person. This is a chul person. All right, which the word chul means. Um, Impolite, mean spirited person, uh, peasant, low birth. Okay. The chul, what he would do is he'd start a problem, 
Of course, the people's going to react and then he will come with a solution. What's the reason behind them three things? Those, those three uh, uh, principles right there <laughs> is that he has full control over his over the people or over you to go in a way and where he wants you to go. You know, if he don't get his way in these other countries, he has set up some of them of the other country and have them going against their own country to cause chaos. And then all of a sudden that country will end up needing America's help. And now here comes the policies, here comes the democracy, all right? And established within their land. Now all of a sudden they pulling resources from that land and it never stops. Esau Edom is the devil that the Bible speaks of, all right? You know, there's a saying that uh, this goes on in the world, and the brother Shaw, he always say it, and I always have him uh, say it, but uh, the saying is uh, uh, how it is, um, um, the greatest trick that the devil ever did was was to believe was, was to have the people believe he don't exist around those lines. But I say this, the greatest trick that the devil ever did was to... Uh, and I say this The greatest trick that the devil ever did Was to hide the fact that he was Esau Edom You know I said it another way before I just can't think of the way I said it before But you get the, you get what, my, what I'm trying to say Alright You know Esau really Edom He tricked the world in believing that he didn't exist And that's why still to this day They're fighting tooth and nail Putting out videos And, and, and striving to keep pushing this narration that you know they don't know who Esau is or Esau is Ishmael and this and that everybody's Edom, Esau Edom except for the actual person that is Esau Edom and that's you so called white people alright alright let me read some more <laughs> scriptures on the word saint this is Psalms 89 and 7 it says God Yahweh is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints which are the Israelites to be had in reverence to all them that are about him. Now this is Psalms 97 and 10. It says, uh, Ye that love the Lord, Yahweh, hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints, which are the Israelites. He, he delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. And right now the saints are in the hand of the wicked. But how are we going to be delivered from out of the hands of the wicked? When Yahweh shall return. <laughs> all right. And, and which I want to read in Daniel 7 How he's going to take the kingdom man Okay This is why um, The Lord sent out his prophets bedtime Okay he sent out his prophets Day and night You see on the unicorn on the internet of things YouTube Videos constantly going on and on All through the night All through the day The new videos are being put up Because the Lord is now uh, Calling back his elected ones of his people his elected chosen of his people, the saints, which are Israelites. Okay, not Edomites. You Edomites have been taught Greek mythology. You've been raised off of your own doctrine of Christianity, which is really plantation slavery, plantation uh, uh, Christianity, plantation slavery for us. And you believe, you know, that's why you call your days after Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's Greek, man. That's all mythology, man. Okay? That stuff not real. Greek mythology, man. And you 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 trying to hold on as much as you can with lies. But lies are not cutting it. Did you not realize that we're living in a time of truth? Where the wicked is being exposed? You know, it's it's not hard to expose the wicked. When there's so much wickedness going on in the world that it that have then then it that it, that it, that it have ever been. Okay? This is why, like I said in the video before, there's so much wickedness going on. How can you not see Yahweh Bashem Yahushua? How can you not see the power in the Lord? Wickedness have increased at an all-time high. This is how we also know through that vibration and through the spirit, that's prophecy, man. We know we at the end of things, man. We at the end of the world, which is the end of Esau's rule. All right, so 
It says on uh, Psalms 97 and 10, ye that love the ye that love Yahweh hate evil. And that clearly tells you that we can hate. You pushes this narration we can't hate because and then on top, how you how do you push this narration that we can't hate, but you but you but you, all you did was hate. Okay? How you establish order in this world was through hate. You know, you say that we're racist. How can we be racist when you're the racist one? All right? <laughs> this is fucking devils, man. It says, um, ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserves the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. All right? This is um, Psalms 148 and 14. He also exhorted the horn of his people and praise all his saints. So just proving driving it in that the saints are the Israelites. It says he also exhorted the horn of his people. He didn't say the world. He said his people. Who is the Lord's people? That's a million dollar question right there. That's the million dollar question. Can you get it right? Who is the Lord's people? Who is his people that the Bible speaks of? Who is the God of the Bible and what nation of people is he for? That's a million dollar question, man. <laughs> and it's so easy. It says, he also exhorted the horn of his people and praised all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Psalms 149 and 1. Praise ye the Lord, sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of saints. All right. Psalms 149 and 9. To execute upon the the, to execute upon them the judgment written this honor have all his saints praise ye the lord man all right so let's go back and uh read daniel 7 and 18 it says but the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever even forever and ever all right and that's a future prophecy because the kingdom of the lord is going to be a glorious kingdom here on earth there's going to be no more wars. That's how you know this is not the kingdom. There's rumors of wars going on. There's protests and sedition among men going on. There's famines going on in the world. I don't know if it's a still famine out there in Venezuela, but it was one for some time. Okay? And then it's going to be an ultimate famine coming here to Babylon. All right? Which is known as North America today. So, it says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom... And possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. All right, let me jump down to um, let's jump down to the next one. This is uh, Daniel 7 and 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high that ain't talking about a mixture of edomites white people or chinese people and african people and ishmaelites and then black people it's not a mixture we are all different races we all come from different traditions different cultures we are a different set of nation of people man you know, this thing here in America with this, we are as one. That's what Obama was pushing heavy. You don't see Trump, you know, he ain't really he taking a different approach, even though he's a devil. But guess what? We're not as one. All right. We're not one nation under God. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. And if you believe that, then, hey, you're going to be destroyed, man. Because the Lord is coming back with fire. Okay. As a matter of fact, he said, if this place be already on fire, man, all right, because before the Lord come, there's going to be a great, a great uproar, man, around the world, man. All right. So let me read again. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given. Hold up. Hold up. Shall be given. Okay shall be given to the people of the saints which are the israelites of the most high whose kingdom 
is an everlasting kingdom and all dominion shall serve and obey him. All right. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't really have um, no topic. So I was kind of spread it everywhere. Just going in the spirit, whatever came to mind. Like I said, I was watching Elder Apostle uh, Rumlob's show. I didn't get the chance to watch everything or from the very beginning. I caught what I can. And, um, you know, it's this morning I'm out and about. And, um, you know, I just wanted to speak on and give my uh, two cents or whatever to the matter, you know, about Esau, man. You know, you devils, you know, you're not going to stop lying. It's OK, because you got to keep doing what you're doing anyway, because the Lord has did what? You know, matter of fact, let me um let me get that real quick, because, you know, you can't get too mad, you know, can't get too mad. But we do get excited because we just constantly see Esau always, uh, uh, you know, pushing lies, man. He could never tell the truth. You know, like I said before, in the kingdom, Esau is still going to say that he ain't he ain't the Edomites. He's still going to say that, man. While he getting his head beaten, he's still going to be saying, I ain't Esau. <laughs> I ain't no Edomite. <laughs> That's Ishmael. <laughs> uh, this is Romans chapter 9 and 13. It says, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Okay. So if you want to say somebody hate, hate, you know, hate. Well, I'm just reading the Bible. All right. And I'm stating the truth. From what the Bible says, not from my own personal opinion. All right. You can read the scriptures right along with me. You know, you can study the Bible, too, if you need to learn. You know, you can pick up the Bible yourself with your own hands and you can flick through the pages. All right. And you can read with your own eyes. You know, so it says, as it is written, Jacob, have I love, but Esau, have I hated? What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. For he said unto Moses, I, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So if the Lord want to have compassion on his people because, you know, he want to get them out of this, this, this uh, slavery, who the hell are you to try to stop the Lord's compassion uh, toward his people? If the Lord want to have mercy on his people, all right. After putting us into this slavery under you, Edomites, and he want to take us away from you. Who who are you? You know, Esau is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. All right. You know, he wants to stop the prophecy. He believed that his lies, if his lies continue to keep pushing on, then then then, you know, the prophecies can't be fulfilled. But you sadly mistaken. The Lord is for his elect. Regardless if your lie, your lies are going to be pushing to the day that the Lord Put, uh, uh, send forth that nuclear fire Upon this place <laughs> Lies are going to be pushed From Esau All the way up Unto the nuclear fire That nuclear fire that the Lord is going to bring upon this place Alright Through their nuclear missiles To the very end man Okay <laughs> Because people are not going to realize That's why the Lord said Two thirds of his people Alright They're going to know it after death by pain Meaning you're going to have to die on this side in order to get this truth And that's what's talking to the Israelites To the wicked ones of Israel Alright So anyway it says what shall we say then Is there any righteousness with God God forbid For he say unto Moses I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion So then It is not of him that willeth Nor of him that runneth But of Yahweh that showeth mercy so trying to take away the Lord's power and the Lord's mercy and compassion toward the Israelites. Hey, you had a dead end, my man. Okay, trying to take away the truth, you know, that the Lord is establishing back his people, their inheritance by giving us the knowledge again. Because it starts with the knowledge, man. Okay. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Once we receive that, the Lord sealed the elect. Now it's time to bring it actual in. Trying to, it's time to bring it actually in, man. Meaning to live it out. Okay? Because we're living it by learning it, by receiving it, by, by believing in again our power. It says, um, it says, so then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the most high that showeth mercy. 
For the scripture say unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So, you know, I'll get too mad, you know, but we do get passionate about this truth. And uh, the reason why you eat a mice can't stop lying, because it's not in you to tell the truth. All right. And the Lord is uh, like like I just read, the Lord is uh, he's uh, raising, he's he's uh, building, he's he's building you up. All right. Let me read that again. For the scriptures say unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, have I raised thee up. So the Lord have raised you Edomites up. All right. That's why it's not for us to take up arms and be carnal against you. You know, because we have to show forth our godly power. And that's spiritually. <laughs> hey, the Lord is bad, man. All praise to y'all, Bashim Al Shai, man. Because we're showing true power. We're the, the men of the Lord, the elect of the Lord, is actually showing true power. You just wait till we receive it, man. Because what's happening is that these devils are being destroyed by the spirit of the Lord's mouth. And that's the spirit. We're not to take up arms and fight against you and go to war carnally. No, our our job is to get back with our power. We got to reconcile with our power, which is the spirit being connected. Okay, with the Lord. So that the Lord through us can use us physically. Okay, and to give us the kingdom, man. You know, these Edomites are... Uh, whew, you're being destroyed right now by just the spirit. How much more the physical, man, when the Lord increase our strength? Think about that, brothers, man. Man, we got it, man. All we got to do is hold on to eternal life, as the scriptures say. Hold on to what we what we was taught and endure all the way to the end because we're we're really uh uh professing and 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 um um standing stiffly. Uh, that wasn't the word I want to use. But we're actually exercising the power, true power, okay, of true kings, man, true princes. Uh, you know, man, it says, um, even uh, for the scripture say unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So, you know, these Edomites, you're being raised up for, for a reason. Because the Lord is going to show forth his name throughout all the earth by taking you down. All right. You're the guinea pig. When you thought we was the guinea pigs in the experiment, you was the experiment in the guinea pig. All right. You, by you being taken down from so great, so great of a power, it's going to make the Lord reign superior forever in the earth, man. And he's coming back with a dramatic fashion, man. This is why this is. This is why you have the curse that go across the face of the earth every day. There's sightings of the chariots, sightings of the angels every day, man. Okay? And those angels are for us, you know? Those angels, when they do their marvelous work, so they show themselves across the world on these cameras, cell phones, across the world, and we get to see them, that's supposed to be, you know, our... Um, uh, our, our inspiration, man, of pushing this truth even harder. It's supposed to uh, give us more hope, more faith, because those are our vehicles. All right? Tells you in uh, Wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter, uh, uh, it's the strangeness of their salvation, so far beyond that they look for. Because you don't really think that, you know, we're telling the truth when we talk about what you call UFOs. You don't believe that we tell you that those are vehicles and those are the Lord's angels riding there. You actually believe in these lies of what these Edomites speak of, man. Oh, these are aliens, great Martians from this planet, from this dimension, the grays versus the greens. You got y'all people off. You... Anyway, man, you know, so, so far beyond that you look for, you know, you, you whitewashed our images from the Renaissance. You know, you, you got paintings out there and records of us and you hide them 